він вміг надихати людей. Тобто, коли ти виїжджаєш з ним на зйомку, він міг набрати таке відео, яке ти просто дивишся, і ну, просто в тебе виникають рядки в голові, тексту. Віктор Дедов, chief director, senior operator of the Mariupol TV channel Sigma TV, died on March 11th in Mariupol. When the full-scale invasion of Ukraine began, Viktor continued to work on the TV channel until the city was under blockade. On the day of his death, he was at home with his family and an enemy shell hit their apartment. The aggressor seeks to wipe out any mention of his crimes from the face of the earth. Therefore, they kill all possible witnesses, military, civilians and journalists. If the Russian occupiers had not killed Viktor, he could have told how Mariupol was left without communication, electricity, water and heating due to large-scale shelling. The whole world would have heard the continuous cannonade shelling the city. He would say that the agreed green corridors from Mariupol are almost never safe, because Russia does not stop bombing even for a moment. The world would not forgive how Russian criminals are trying to destroy the last shelters of Mariupol residents, from the drama theater, where more than 300 people died after a rocket attack, to the Azovstal plant, where about a thousand civilians are still hiding. The killings and shootings of journalists are a gross violation of international law. The enemy can turn a blind eye to laws, but he cannot close the eyes of the world to crimes. After all, honoring the memory of those who died for the truth, we will continue to tell their immortal stories.